how do I play with my four-month-old baby? Well, I recommend doing very, very simple things around the house or outside, and I don't think you need a lot of fancy toys or gimmicks at this point. Number one, I would take my baby and walk around the house narrating what I see, sort of holding my baby like this so that my baby is facing outwards. I would describe colors. I would describe the function of objects. I would describe the rooms in the house, and I would just take a little tour, so to speak, walking my baby through the parts of the home and getting them both comfortable in different areas of the home and also used to the idea that we associate actual things in the exterior world with language. I would go to different family members, siblings, my partner, and say their name repeatedly while holding the baby, emphasizing the vowels. So, you know, Annalise might be ah, 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 or Marielle, or Beckett, be, 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 to try to encourage your baby to develop those first sounds. I would play with a mirror, looking with my baby into the mirror together and touching the mirror, and hopefully it's a good hair day for you. I would encourage my baby to roll around. I would play on the floor with my baby in a clean space, placing toys a little bit out of their reach and trying to get them to move forward and to pivot their hips and to develop more strength in their legs. Another thing you can do is play with balls. And this is a great way to teach your baby about cause and effect because they'll start to associate the actual pushing of the ball with seeing the ball roll away from them. In addition to playing with balls, you can try to introduce your baby to different textures, soft blankets, fluffy pillows, the feeling of wool. You can use clothes to do this. Remember though, of course, especially when it comes to blankets and pillows and things like that, that you wanna keep these materials away from your baby's face to make sure that breathing is at no time obstructed should they be lying flat, either on their tummy or on their back. And in no event when you're engaging in any of this play, should your baby be left unattended. Drum roll please, now's the time you can finally play peek a boo, but keep in mind that when you do the boo and you disappear, your baby might show signs of being upset because they might not know that the peak is soon to come. Mm -hmm.